Hello everybody and welcome to my proving grounds. Now, I made a video earlier and I totally forgot to add the volume. So, I'm going to pretty much narrate what we already did. What you're seeing here is a user account control window and it says this app has been blocked for your protection and this has been pissing me off for a good chunk of time less than 24 hours more than an hour had to do a little bit of research in order to finally figure out how to get this thing done uh, the short version of this is that when this popped up it happened because I was trying to access the device manager apparently the mmc.exe is actually part of Windows and you can't just uninstall it without crippling your operating system but like I said it blocked me from accessing the device manager I can't access computer management disk management a couple of other things I'm pretty sure and when I was looking at the Microsoft forms and all that there you could try to uninstall it or try to disable it but you can't try it if you try to do it in PowerShell there's a lot of warnings from a lot of people that it will mess things up but I found on that if you go into reg edit you can actually do an alteration in your registry once we get in there the path is already here because I already jumped to it but it's H key local machine software Microsoft Windows current version policy slash system what you're going to be looking for over here in this column is um, the enable enable LUA reg D word value. Yes, this one right there. What you want to do is you want to go into the pro the properties of this thing, or actually you just double click it and you want to change that value from a one to a zero and then click OK. That in and of itself will resolve your problem and you should be able to access it and you got to restart the machine okay I'm remoting back in and once I'm there what I'm looking for is I'm gonna go into the command prompt this part you don't really need to do but if you enable the hidden administrator account go under admin in CMD you're gonna just type in net user administrator then the space slash active and say yes once that's done great uh, when you're done with your troubleshooting you want to actually get back in here under administrator the exact same line but instead of yes you're typing in no to disable this process otherwise you're leaving yourself open to escalated privileges keep that in mind one of the things you're going to do is you're going to go run and go into your services and you're going to look for something called cryptographic services when you're there go to the properties let's just wait for it here and you want to make sure that it is set to automatic and that when you're on the logon tab it's actually set to network services and not local system account that's pretty much it quite honestly depending on which version of Windows you are this is primarily what I was reading for Windows 10 it may or may not work this way for Windows 11 but I would leave with the older versions of Windows you can just do this get away with this and just avoid um, the secondary steps just make sure you change your D word to zero and as you can see device manager and disk management and everything were working and that's pretty much it I hope I it was understandable I was kinda like bulldozing through this have a good night.